Son of a glitch. Vice City, full of cars, guns, women, it's a paradise alright, but of course it has its fair share of glitches too. Usually you're unable to reach the second island of the game from the very beginning. These barriers prevent you from crossing over the bridge and don't allow access until you're way into the story. Oh, but we don't roll like that. In the PC version of the game, if you grab a PCJ600 motorbike and get a good run up, you simply ride straight through the collision detection and through the barrier to cross over the bridge. This glitch doesn't work in the original PS2 version of the game though, and believe me, I tried. You can also cross over to the second island via the most northerly bridge on Prawn Island. On the left side of the bridge there's a wall that you can jump into and land inside the bridge. From here you can either keep jumping until you're pushed through the floor and onto the bridge to cross over, or you can run along the inside of the bridge geometry until you reach the end and from there you can step off the edge and you'll fall into a void. There's a failsafe kill plane below that and once you reach the very bottom of the world it puts you back on solid ground as intended. Once on the other island you can start obtaining weapons or hidden packages early and even grab a helicopter that you wouldn't be able to use until much later in the story. You can also get past the gates to Starfish Island too using a motorbike. Ride into this small gate entrance until you fall off the bike and through the gate, landing quite a distance away on the other side. It's hard to explain why this happens, but it seems the game transports you when it's confused about your position within the game. A great use for this type of glitch occurs when you get a Sanchez inside the Ocean View Hotel. By taking a run up and dismounting when you hit the steps, you should hopefully send the Sanchez flying into the door, and when you enter the hotel, the bike should be inside the building. In a corner of the room facing the stairs, ride up this counter and when you're thrown off the bike, the game spawns you outside of the building and onto a version of the map you'd only see from the interior of the hotel. For instance, only the front area of the hotel is rendered in-game, and that's what you'd see from the window, but the rest of the area isn't loaded to save on memory. It seems the interior and exterior parts of the game exist at the same time, because the collision detection of the buildings and such still prevent you from moving through parts of the map where buildings reside, except the actual models of said buildings aren't visible, which is why this glitch is often referred to as the ghost world. You can still drive cars and create havoc as usual, but it's hard to know when you'll drive into something, although you can use the map in the bottom left corner as reference. This same glitch can be achieved by riding any bike towards the pole position club and jumping off and letting it roll into the entrance. Once again, when you enter the club, the bike will be inside, but when you turn around, you'll see the same empty map from before. This glitch is great for finding hidden packages throughout the map, as they're no longer obscured by buildings. Aside from this glitch where the world is invisible, there are also parts of the game that are non-solid, like this patch of ground in Ocean Beach that you sink into when you stand on it, and then when you ride a bike on top of it, whoops, where did we go? And some walls of the game you can ride inside from one end, like this one on Prawn Island. Now you see me, now you don't. You can pass through the length of the wall and you can get out by getting off the bike. You can drive inside the fence at the airport too. I've heard of don't fence me in, but this is ridiculous. Ah, nuts. Even some of the walls of buildings can be driven through like this one in downtown. You can take this kind of non-solid wall stuff one step further. Using a helicopter, fly to the WK Chariot Hotel, which is opposite the Malibu, and carefully fly under this part of the entrance. I say carefully because the helicopter hitbox in this game is pretty large because of the blades, so it's hard to make it through something like this without blowing yourself up in the process. But if you manage to fly underneath this ceiling and then fly upwards, you can go through it, to which you then just fly over the entrance and then completely out of the map. Now you can fly under the whole world. So this is what the dark CD underworld of Vice City is like. Tommy Vercetti's been working on his magic act, because if you go to the parking lot near Collar and Cuffs in Ocean Beach, and then park a car in this corner at the entrance, something amazing will happen. Step out of the car and then ta-da! The car has vanished. It's bad enough getting carjacked in Vice City without your car just disappearing completely. I guess I'll just have to go steal another. The guys repairing and respraying rumpos must be confused about something, as whenever you take one for a respray, it will emerge with its front bumper or fender the wrong way round. This glitch also happens with pony vans too. A hundred dollars and that's what we end up with, well I'll be damned. Oh, but the fun doesn't end there. If you're skilled enough to fly a helicopter into Sunshine Auto Spray and Go, it gets a respray and ends up with four wheels on its landing gear. But good luck trying to get that thing out of the place in one piece. Not only that, when you scrape a helicopter's landing gear along any surface, you'll see tire tracks regardless of whether it has wheels or not. Sadly, this glitch doesn't seem to be present in the PC version of the game. 
During the mission The Fastest Boat, instead of using the switch to lower the boat, simply get as close as you can to it by walking into this corner and then press the triangle button to enter the boat, then just leave to complete the mission. This glitch abuses the strange way players enter boats, meaning it's possible to get close enough and then teleport to the boat without lowering it. This next glitch may be the funniest yet. Take a motorbike to any point where Tommy changes clothes and then park inside the icon. Then get off the bike and then jump back on. Now he'll be standing inside the bike and when you ride off, this happens. Tommy just flops around on the bike like a ragdoll. The game thinks you're on foot whilst riding the bike, so Tommy's running animation is happening at the same time too. Man, I love this glitch, it just looks so stupid. Also, it doesn't matter what you crash into, you won't fall off the bike, which makes this glitch even more fun. This next glitch lets you get some serious wheelie time. Head to Kaufman Cabs in Little Haiti with a PCJ600 and then take a turn down this alleyway and then go right and go right again. There's an area of ground here that's not solid and the trick is to get the front wheel of the PCJ stuck in the ground. Once you do, try and reverse out of the hole and simply keep reversing for as long as you want the wheelie to last and then when you're done, accelerate out of the hole and you'll see you've earned a wheelie bonus. A similar glitch happens when you get a helicopter and a bike. Get in the helicopter and begin flying, then balance it on its side like this and hold it in this position for a minute or so. Then get out and jump on the bike and you'll be awarded a huge two wheels bonus. And finally, here's a glitch on the PC version of the game which lets you buy assets around Vice City without parting with any money. When you go to an asset, you'll be prompted to press the tab button to purchase it, but instead use the replay function and then quickly toggle it off again. Then hit tab and then almost immediately after press the replay button again. If you performed this action with the correct timing, you should now have purchased the asset, but your money will not have changed. When the glitch works, the icon will look like this, a save icon over a purchase icon. Now it's important to note that you need to have the amount of money the asset requires in order to perform this glitch. So as long as you have the cash, you can go around buying up every business and real estate asset in Vice City. This is a pretty useful glitch basically stealing all of the assets, but hey, just another illegal pastime for you to have fun with. And if you like this episode, hit that like button, share it with everyone you know and love, but most importantly, please subscribe if you want to see more from the series.